Today we will talk about how much RAM you need for office work, gaming, video editing and programming right after this intro. The RAM allows you to run a variety of programs simultaneously. Now the budget computers normally comes with 4 GB RAM. The mid ranges comes with 8 GB and 16 to 32 GB RAM requirement is dependent upon the softwares that you're handling. But is it a smart move to spend a lot of money on it? Well, let me put down a few scenarios for you. The moment you log into your Windows, you'll see your memory hijacked. And that's because your operating system is using quite a lot of part of your RAM already. So your office work may require 4 GB RAM, opening maybe about seven to 10 windows on your Chrome and running a couple of software simultaneously, you'll stop feeling that your system is getting slower. Generally, with 8 GB RAM, you can watch around two to three YouTube 4K videos and browse the data through Chrome as well. So overall, 8 GB is a minimum recommended RAM for Windows 10 in this day and age. Even with large RAM, you might be able to open a lot of tabs on your PC, but when you're switching between those apps and running games or video editing softwares, you might be able to face a little bit of lag while you switch. A good thing is browsers do use tab discarding technique to free up memory space from your not so very active tabs. So how much RAM do you need if you're a gamer? Well, mostly high budget gaming starts with at least 16 GB of RAM. However, as a gamer, you should definitely go for a minimum of 8 GB RAM. It should allow you to play a lot of games on it. I do see a lot of cases where people are running and getting about 120 FPS on the Ramo 6 Siege with a RAM that's about 8 GB. But that really depends upon how powerful your GPU is. The GPU memory is a different debate, so maybe we'll keep that for our next episode. But if you do a lot of streaming with gaming, I definitely recommend you go for 16 GB of RAM. So if you've got your streaming service running in the background, you can play your game without hindrance and without any such jitter or lag. So as a video editor, you do require some memory to open up your software. You do require some memory to help you have that scrubbing, that lag-free playback of your video clips take place smoothly in your software. And thirdly, you require a lot of memory to render your clips. So 4GB is something which is out of the question. I would not recommend you go for a system which is meant for video editing with a memory of 4GB. So at least you should have about 8GB of memory to your disposal so you can edit, you can play back those clips and later on render those clips as well. Now GPU is something which we're gonna discuss and keep for probably a later some episode. But if you've got a video editing timeline on which you've applied a lot of visual effects, uh, maybe some transitions and so on. That's exactly where you need a lot of video memory to help you out and give you that jitter-free, lag-free playback throughout your timeline on your video editing software. If you are a professional video editor, you should definitely go for at least a 32 GB of memory. As a standard, normally the video editors professionally are using about 64 GB, 128 GB RAM minimum in their systems. And that's because the high demand of 4K video. You see, if you're doing a lot of video editing that doesn't require you to render 4K clips and you're just doing 720p or 1080p, then 8GB or 16GB RAM at some point would also do the job for you. But if you're expecting to go for something like 4K editing, 4K playback and 4K rendering, then you should at least think about going with 32GB of RAM. And if you're going for 64 to 128 GB, that will last with you for the next three years. Similarly, if you're a professional composer and you do a lot of music mixing, then you may require 64 GB to 128 GB RAM. That's because you got a lot of tracks, probably 100 and 120 instruments that are working side by side on different lines. And you're picking up all of those musical tracks simultaneously to make that single beautiful music. Being a programmer, nothing comes with a tag that says, here is the best laptop for programming. So you really have to put in your head and think about what you use your programming for. If you're developing generic apps uh, that does not require a lot of uh, graphical elements in it, then you'd be fine with something like 8 GB RAM or 12 GB RAM. But if you develop games, something like an asphalt 3D and stuff like that, that has a lot of 3D models in it and maybe a lot of 3D environments that needs to be rendered, then you would need at least 16 GB RAM and probably a good machine with GPU as well. So in a nutshell, in this day and age, you should at least go for 8 GB RAM. If you can go for 16 GB RAM, because that's something I recommend for extensive uh, laptop or PC usage. And also if you're a gamer, if you run a lot of apps simultaneously, you should have at least have 
16 GB of RAM in your system. The animators with rendering needs should go for 32 GB RAM. And if memory is so important for you and you are the fanatic video person, then definitely think about getting some memory into your GPU. That's your GPU card. So that's it for now. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments. And if you like what you see, go hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon with another one. Till again, Forest Tech, signing out.